Hello, and welcome to another episode of Portrait of an Interview. I am your host, Artist Magnificent, Andy Visha. And with me today is Julie Klein, the amazingly talented actress. How are you today, Julie? Um, I'm good. We're going to be painting a wonderful portrait of Julie today, and we have some lovely colors here, supplied by my grandma, who's dead now. <laughs> Anyways, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to think of the most profound moment of your life. Probably this moment right now. Tell me about it. I feel like... Okay, go ahead. Next question. Can I like ever peek? No. Can I get one free peek? Curiosity killed the cat. Yeah. My uncle Curiosity, that was, that was his name. He killed our family cat. Is that where that saying comes from? Yeah. I miss Mr. Whiskers every day. Why did you have to do it, Uncle Curiosity? You remember that time when we watched the movie Nymphomaniac together? I don't think we got through it. I don't remember it at all. I got really drunk and I got real sick. You got sick because of the alcohol? Or all the banging. Oh, yeah. Now is the booze. Fight or flight? For what situation? Your great aunt Jean comes up to you at a family function and wants to give you a big old kiss. And she's notoriously slobbery when it comes to her kisses. Probably fight that. Your favorite hairstylist has just gotten turned into a bear. What do you do? I ask her how she did that. She responds, Hmm. Try to make sure she was okay. And then she bites your head off. If you could be any inanimate object in a film as a role, what object would you pick? Probably the floor or the ceiling. Can I watch things? Yeah. Eh, maybe the wall. So I'd be the house, I'd be the building. Go ahead, now's your moment. It's rapid fire, favorite animal. Wolf. Favorite color? Blue. If you could combine any color in any animal, what would it be? Orange and a, what are they called? Ta, 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 ta. You're a robot. Borp, borp, zorp, zorp. What kind of weapons do you have? I have one that goes like a big blaster. Okay. A sniper blaster. Okay. No, you know what? I'd have a sniper. I'd have a sniper and I had a big sword. So I'd be a very nimble. I can dig that. If you were a robot, how would you travel? I'd have gun shoes that propel you forward because of the guns on the back. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Seems like a waste though. What do you mean? It'd be totally cool. It'd be cool, but you'd be wasting ammo on just moving. Complete the sentence for me. This interview is... Shitty as fuck. Sometimes I like to... Run away and never come back. If I had $200, I would... Hold it and sniff it. Money is disgusting. Where's my $200? David Payer. What's your favorite noise in the whole world? That's how you fall asleep. Well, folks, I think that we have just about finished this painting. Are you ready to see your painting? Yes. The fuck is this? It's, it's, it's you. Um, I don't know. I don't think you can put that up. I tried real hard. Look at it. You got a gun and a sword. What's that on my butt? This? Pouch of water or something? It's a, it's a robot crystal. Big button? Crystal. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. 
Is it edible? No. It's not cool anymore. That's all the time we have today on Portrait of an Interview. I'm, I'm your host, Andy Bisha. Don't forget to clean your brushes. I'm gonna go home and rethink my life. If you enjoyed that video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe so you can be informed about other videos that are coming out. And if you want more fun, head over to newradiomedia.com or follow us on social media.